Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. I hope I, I accidentally hit the start button and hit the stop button and hit the start again. So hopefully it picks up. We will see in a minute on my screen. So let me say hello to the usual suspects. Um, I'm stealing Michael's line. Uh, let me say to my hello to my moderators. Hello, Shannon, and hello, Cheryl. Aren't they doing great? Let's give them a little round of applause. And hello, Melinda. Hello, Linda. Hello, Julie. Hello, Joanne. Okay, let's, um, oops, I'm in top chat still. That doesn't help me any, does it? And hello, Elisa A. <laughs> hello, Cynthia. Hello, Jan. Uh, I don't know if I said hello to you yet, but hello, Melinda. Hello, Deb. Hello, Sherry. I got some exciting news. Um, two collaborations next week. One I'm in and, uh, with Julie. And one I am in, uh, one Julie's in. Hello, Mary Lou. One Julie is in with, um, Sherry. Sherry and Julie have a collaboration on Monday the 15th. And Julie and I have a collaboration we call Pot of Gold Collaboration on the 17th. Can you guess... If it's on the 17th and it's called Pot of Gold, what colors we'll be using. <laughs> Aren't I terrible? Ow, I didn't get a cup out yet. Crap. But first I'm going to unmold these. I don't have the other ones uh, done yet, so I don't have them to show you. Hail, Jeff B. And am, am I missing? Hello, Cynthia. I'm trying to say hello to everybody, but the chat's just rolling by so fast. I'm having a hard time keeping up with it. Okay, first, I can tell you right now, this is not going to be the front because the I don't think that brass dropped any. So, let me get this out of the way so I don't get dust particles in it. So, this one will probably, probably just be the back. And hello, sweet Janice. And let's see, who else am I missing? I mean, yeah, I said hi to Sherry. Um, okay, so this is the back. Yeah, it's real colorful, but that's because all the alcohol ink didn't. Um... Oh, hang on a second. I can't see my screen. Oh. There we go. Sorry about that. I like to be able to see my screen. I like the front. This is pretty, I think. Don't you guys think it's pretty? Oh. You know what? I got to bring those colors up just a little bit. I, or the light up just a little bit. Because it's dark. In my eyes, it's dark. I mean, I don't know how it looks to you all on the, uh, um, let's see, there we go. Hopefully that doesn't, well, that, uh, I'm not going to be picking anything up at, besides this to bring it close to the camera. Hi, Sam. And let's see who else has shown up. Uh, I think I've got everybody. So... I'm trying to keep the glare off of it, but it's it's a shiny resin, so that's not easy to do. So this is going to be the front of this one. Yes, that's real colorful, but that brass didn't drop, and it's just it's just too much of a blob in my eyes. Okay, let me put that off to the side. Now, I can tell you the brass probably didn't drop on these either, but let's see. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Those turned out pretty. I 
like that. I like that with the clear and then it looks almost like waves or if it was red, it would look like flames. I like that. Hello, Pam. And let's see, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I think I got um, everybody. Uh, ooh, this one turned out kind of neat too. It, it dropped all the way. I'm surprised it dropped all the way to the to the to the bottom, which is really the top. And see, you can see my finger through it. I think. Wait a minute. Huh. Sorry, I, I don't know which way to turn it to keep the glare off of it. Okay, let me get these other two guys out. Yep, they're little Petries, little Petri shot glasses. Oh, cool, Jeff. That was the one, that was one of the ones that was sitting down there. I had four packages sitting down next to the mailbox, and they never picked it up. Let me see. Well, yeah, um, well, I don't have... I don't know how to show it except like this. Okay, and the last one, and then I got to mix some resin. I'm once I get done with this inspection we got coming up, I'm going to um ooh, another wave one. I like that. I think I think these two, I only put um, one layer of, res, uh, of ink on there, and these two, I think I put two. So I have to go back and look at the video, but these turned out pretty. These turned out really, really pretty. Okay, let's get some resin mixed up. What I'm going to try, let me get some cups out real quick. Uh got black I'll pour out of the other side um, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to mix up the resin like I do normally for a clock this one takes 12 ounces I went through all the trouble of measuring all these little things and um, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to put a little bit of resin in each of these cups like I normally do for my clock for my 3d resin flowers one's gonna they're both gonna have one or two drops of white in there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol ink in each one with brass and one with teal and we will find out next week how that works hopefully it works I mean I don't know if it's gonna color it or not oops Because I just, I wanted to see if I could get the, uh, I wanted to see if I could get the brass to color the uh, casting craft resin. Any, um, I guess part A would help, huh? And I'm going back to using my affiliate link for KS Resin. So if you go down below the description, I have the link to the KS Resin site, which goes through my affiliate number, and I got a 5% discount code. I'm always trying to find ways to save y'all money, because I'm all about saving money too, so I figure I'll just pass along the savings to you all. And I almost got my clips, my, my clips, my kits figured out as to how much they're gonna cost um, for the USA products um, Fiona flower pouring medium that I um, came up with. Ah, oh, let's see. Yeah, I'll just use one of my plexiglass sticks. Okay, 609. Now I can go back to comments and read them while I'm doing this. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Cheryl. And, and hello, Brian. I see everybody saying hi to Brian. And hello, Tish. 
I'm glad to see all my squad here. Very, very nice of y'all to show up and spend a little time with me tonight. What does Mary Lou, what does Mary Lou want to do, Sherry? I miss that. Thank you, Shannon. Yes, Julie and I got a collaboration that will be uh, airing right after the Art of Palooza that night. And then um, Sherry and Julie have a collaboration coming up on the 15th. And I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Mac. Hello, Mac. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Disco Ball Dabo. And I promise you, Mac, after the 16th, I will try to make it to some of yours. I have been, just been so busy these last couple of weeks with this inspection coming up that why am I saying Mac Trey Trey and tell Nicole I said hi uh, oh cool cool Sherry I, I'd love to see that um, on the 18th I'm going over to Sally's house I don't I haven't seen Sally in here yet uh, but, um, on the, um, 18th, I'm going over for a little art date with, uh, Sally. Hello, Justine! And Sally, um, Sally's gonna get her kit that she won, and we're gonna do a video of me showing her how to mix it and how to how to make sure consistencies are right, and all that good stuff. Okay. Well, not quite three minutes. Let me just keep a mix in, and let me look at this. Oh, you can tag from your phone now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, Catherine the Paint, too. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay. So that's a uh, three-person collaboration on the 15th, Julie. Yep, everybody's Irish on that day, and we all drink like we're Irish on that day. <laughs> Except for me, I don't drink that much. Okay. That has been three minutes. So, let me... Put a little bit in here. Now, I'm going to be doing two cups. Oh, I forgot glitter. Well, but my glitter is just right over there, so I can go get some. And I need a third cup for glitter. I completely forgot my glitter. So, let me reach over here where my glitter is at. And, uh... I'm debating. I think I'll use this blue, this blue chunky, which is from, it's either from Walmart or, I think it's from Walmart, okay? And I need a third cup to make my center. And I'm not even going to try to punch the hole in it. Because I think this will look pretty good with the with the teal that I'm going to be doing. Okay, now I need a little bit of resin in here before I pour it in the cloth mold. Just to make sure that it becomes a little chunky, chunky paste. And I think I've got it pasty enough or thick enough so when I go to put it in the center after I put the resin in it won't float away like glitter likes to do and let's see anybody else come in nope I didn't see anybody new come in if I forgot to give you a shout out let tell me okay because 
I am pretty bad about watching the chat. I try to do the best I can. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have to push it up to the edge. It looks like it's spreading out just fine. Okay, scrape out the last of this. And I didn't see Sally show up yet, huh? Okay. Sally's a little bit older than me and she lives with her daughter, so she might she might have stuff she's doing with her daughter. So, you know. Family comes first in my book. Okay, stick goes there. Uh, oh, glitter, glitter. Let me put the glitter in so I can make sure that this stuff doesn't float all over the place. And about the only way you can get the glitter off of the stick when it's in this paste is by scraping it with the edge of your cup. And you try to get it in a somewhat circle. But you know glitter. Glitter is going to go where it wants to go. I already see some of it already. Well, I dripped that one. See, I'm trying to make it into a flower center. But, hey, not all flower centers are perfect, right? see a little bit more in there I don't want to waste any glitter come on off ah got it way out there that'll look funny now I'm trying to corral the little ones that are trying to <laughs> trying to float away and I don't want any floaters and that was a joke. Oh, yeah, this um, this is 12 ounces. I don't know if... Yeah, you should be able to see it now that I lighten it. I always try to write it to, on the bottom so you can see it when it's, uh, when it's um, um, laying on the table. Okay, pop in my air bubbles. This is going to go pretty quick. But what I will do is, is after I pour it, if I have a few minutes, which I should, I will bring last week's back and show them to you, show, show it to the latecomers. Okay, now, I'm only going to put, I forgot to shake this up before I went live, I'm only going to put two drops in each cup and then I'm going to put a couple of drops of the alcohol ink and hopefully that will color the white I hope one two one Okay, got the white in now. Now I use the pinata brass and I buy it in the big bottle so to get it to get the drops to come out easier, I have it transferred to a little bottle. And I have less in here, so I wanted to put the brass in this one. Okay, let's see. Oops, well, that was four drops. Okay, let's see what it looks like mixed. Let's see what it looks like mixed. And it doesn't look metallic-y. It looks, it looks kind of, I don't know how to put it. 
it doesn't look metallic-y. Let me add a couple more drops. Okay, that makes a total of eight drops of, of ink in there now. And I didn't have quite a... I didn't have quite a whole ounce in there. So, all it did was kind of almost make it a ivory, I guess you could say. But now, I'm going to put teal in the other one. Oh, hello, Brenda. Nice to see you, honey. And hello, Dina. I love seeing my friends come in. And you all are, all of you are my friends. Every single one of you. You guys, have, you guys are what have kept me sane this last year with this COVID uh, stay-at-home orders. One, two, three, four. Four should be enough, but let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Got to mix it in really, really good, though. I'm scraping the sides because I can see some dark spots, which means I got more ink there. And I can see some white parts in there, which means there's part of the casting craft that didn't get dyed. Okay, almost looks like a light blue. Okay. Well, alcohol inks are transparent, so they don't normally give you, um, give you any, um, anything, um, that is darker. Let's see who else came in. I'm looking, looking, looking. Oh, Sunita! I forgot to say hello to you. So, hello, Sunita. Okay. Glitter's kind of stayed put where I wanted it. Okay. Let me get rid of all this dark colored blue off the side and get it all mixed in there. Okay. Now, I'm old school. I don't use a piping bag. Okay. I just pinch my cup and try to keep it as steady as possible. And I'm going to try to go for five or seven petals. Let me see. Well, oh, ended up being five, so let me go out one more row with this. Okay, now I'm going to do a row of the brass. Oh, hello, Rochelle. Nice to see you, honey. Okay, get rid of my stick. And I'm going to do a row of the brass. But only one row. Because I'm going to do some more of the blue. Well, it's supposed to be teal, but... It looks more like a pastel blue on here. Than it does teal. That's because of the white casting craft. So I'm going to do two rows of this and then I'm going to end it with one more row of the white. And I probably will pull my little um, things out, my um, molds, and pour these off into a shot glass mold. But I'm not done yet when I, after I pour this. I'm going to do some dragging through them to get them to make some really pretty petals. Okay, let me see here. I got to uh, push these back in. You know what? I can do that later. Um, this resin will, will set up. Um, I mean, won't set up the whole time. Okay. I got my little toothpick, and I'm just going to, well, first, let me, I guess, let me go through and pop air bubbles.
Oh, okay. I see what you guys are talking about. Okay, I'm just going over it, popping the air bubbles. Don't want to really blow the the uh, resin around. Okay, now I'm going to go through it, and I know I'm going to do the center. Because I love what this dragging with the toothpicks does in here. That was my most favorite clock from my clock auction, was a white one. Okay, now, um, let me, I'm going to try going this way on the rest of the petals. On the, re the rest of each petal. I'm going to drag it in. Oops, I didn't get dragged through all of them. See, you don't want to get close and touch the bottom. So you want to try to keep your toothpick or skewer, whatever you're using. Um, and you can see I'm just wiping it onto my gloves. You want to keep it in the resin but not touching the bottom. Okay, and now I just want to play with this stuff here just a little bit. Just to get it kind of spread out a little bit. I think this one's going to be a pretty one. Although that brass isn't doing diddly squat in there. <laughs> I hate to say that. And hello, Melissa. I forgot to tell you, I saw Melissa and Janice in a chat for something I was doing that was an accident. I didn't mean to go live. I was trying to hit my stop record button and I went live for like a minute. I ended up deleting it, but I saw Melissa and Janice and a few other people say hi in the chat and, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hi Donna. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, but that, that, that live that night was an accident, okay? <laughs> Sorry, y'all, <laughs> that, that ended up coming into that chat real quick. Oh, burgers. I got pizza to eat while I'm moderating for Tish. Don't forget, after we're done here, we're going to go over and we're going to do a, uh, uh, um, um, Doris raid on the Artist Haven and watch her on her testing Tuesday. I don't know why that won't go this way. Oh, oh, you were on that too? Cynthia, I didn't see, you know, but I wanted to apologize to you guys for that. Anybody that's ever seen the OBS control screen the start streaming and start recording are like right next to each other. And if you're not looking at when you click, you can click the wrong one. I'm trying to push this over just a little bit. Because I want it to get over here. Well, it's going to be a wonky flower. But hey, I am known for my wonky flower since I can't get, oops, wrong way since I can't get the napkin um, part down. Okay, I'm going to take off my gloves. And I'm going to bring out the shot glasses. I love how they turned out. These are the, Now see, the brass just stayed on, the, on, on what was the top, but it's really the bottom, so... You can see a little bit of the brass in there inside. But I absolutely love how these little guys turned out. I still got to clear coat them. Because, and I got to figure out an easier, better way to do that. Because I want to do another video. Because for some reason, clear coating shot glasses happens to be one of my most popular videos right now. So... Somebody must have shared. I like how I like how this one 
this must be the one where I only put uh, one set of drops of, uh, of ink in there. I love how those guys turned out. And here is the clock that I did magenta and teal. And I did the brass, but the brass didn't fall through. And I'm not making this the front because I like this one over here. So, oh, paint party. Well, I am going to be having my own little paint party coming up on the 18th. I'm going over to Miss Sally's house. Uh, yes, you can use the shot glasses, Pamela. Um... I don't have it below these videos, but if you go back to my how to clear coat shot glasses or uh, or I think the beach ones I made, what it is is there's a federal regulation that says that if you've got a thin continuous coat of clear, can't have, see this has got alcohol inks in it, okay, so it's got the inks, you don't know what's in the inks. So that can't touch the food. But if you do a thin layer of clear inside and outside, um, you know, you might as well go all the way down to the bottom. You gotta, I got to sand these edges too. Um, the federal regulation, and it's, it's ongoing, it says that it is food contact safe, and it gives you all the ways you can use it, use the resin to come in contact with the food. You know, you couldn't put... You couldn't put something in here to drink and even with the clear resin and leave it there for a couple of days and then drink it because it could soak, you know. But food contact is fine. And I went through the trouble of finding that. Um, oh, you like both sides of that one? I don't. I don't because of that brass not dropping. That brass didn't drop, so I'm not happy with that. So this will be the front of this one. Um, all I got to do is, it's thick enough, so all I got to do is just um, um, sand these edges just a little bit. And I saw somebody using a, a little white cone type thing with their Dremel. So that's what I'm going to do with uh with my dremel i'm gonna i think i got that little white cone and it sands this off without making it look all scratchy so i'm going to do that and clean off the fingerprints and put a clock movement in it the other ones that i showed you last week that were from two weeks ago are sitting in the drying rack they're going to get some resin on the back so the back can be the front and thank you thank you guys thank you thank you okay well we're gonna go do a Doris raid on the artist haven in 27 minutes so she's testing some up some new paints out and I love it when she tests this stuff because she tests it to, sh to see what it does so we don't have to waste the money if we don't like what it does. So let's all go over there in 27 minutes. I think one of my moderators can put the link up uh, somewhere. Kicking cans. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, no comment. Oh, there went the there went my my notification for her live. So I will unmold this guy next week. Um, I may try. I may try doing an all white one for because I haven't done an all white one for a while. Um, but I am um, should be able to sleep too. Oh, so anyway, um, thank you guys for coming out tonight. If you're watching the replay, welcome to my channel. We have. Um, Short videos on Tuesday, and because I, I'm usually on for an hour on Sundays, um, and I I love all of you guys. Uh, 
Okay. Um, okay, yep, see everyone next door exactly, because her and I are neighbors, about five hours apart. So, if you're watching this on the replay and you're new, I hope that you click the subscribe button up here. And don't forget to hit the little bell for the notifications. And everybody who's watching the replay, check out this video up here. That's probably covering up my face. And check out this video down here. I love the resin right out of you guys. Y'all are awesome. And all I can say is, bye for now.